social universe, but uh, very often the secrets of the universe itself. Uh, our show also talks about professional networking and nonprofits and, and uh, how we do a lot of good in the community and uh, how it is that we can do a lot of good uh, with each other. Some of the best friendships uh, that I have made have been uh, people that I've met through the social media and then uh, been able to uh, meet offline and uh, be able to have great long-term relationships. And we always want to remember that the social media is uh, is virtual. It's it, until you're able to meet those people in person, there's still that deep driving human need to be able to, to meet in person and create those relationships. So remember that in business, your customers still want to connect with you in person. They, they And if you're in the nonprofit, you still want to connect directly with the, the people that donate to you. They, they like to feel that feeling. Uh, some people say that, that you, nothing comes for free, including a good feeling even if you donate to the Red Cross. Well, try to have that personal relationship as much as you can. Uh, before we move forward, we want to again uh, thank DJ Camus, uh, our international artist who I uh, has been able to donate some of his art to be a backdrop for for our show. I know that uh, Shelley was asking earlier, um, you know, what is this beautiful painting behind us? Um, and uh, it's amazing. It, it really is amazing. Um, it's so amazing that um, I think I may actually purchase it. So <laughs> there's um, going to be a bidding war. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Absolutely. And so I'm not, I'm not a good loser. So. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Um, it's uh, it's listed for about thirty thousand uh, dollars online, and uh, if somebody wants to bid more than that, then uh, then they might beat me on the on the bid. Um, but uh, um, in, already in my home, I have a, a piece of art that has a, a ship that is driven in the uh, in the wind. Uh, but there's dolphins that are jumping out of the of the ocean, and, and it's a sailing ship, um, and uh, so it's a little tempestuous. And then we have uh, uh, this, which. Um, I, I don't think uh, DJ meant it to be um, a, a, its exact partner, but we picked it out of his artwork because it's approximately the same uh, shape and size. Um, it, but this one is very peaceful. It's, it's the after the storm where there's some, you know, maybe some shooting stars, and um, and I just absolutely love the, the cool blue of, of that painting. So uh, if anybody wants to go to www.puraart.com, they'll either beat me on the bid, um, or um, they can see the other art that uh, that DJ King has, uh, has made available to uh, uh, to us. Uh, for as part of his art collection. Okay, so coming back to the nonprofit side, um, there's a, a, and a transition. A lot of times, art and nonprofits go together for fundraising and things of that nature. Um, but uh, Selena, tell us a little bit about uh, what gave you that idea to create the the Queen's Court and and uh, some of the um, uh, what the the princess acronym means and uh, and what what it does for you for young women and empowering uh, women today. Well, like what I said earlier, the Queen's Court is to support um, the girls, the women out there who are interested in uh, participating in a pageant, and then it now has expanded to helping women who are um, starting a business and um, you know starting to get their life together. So that's basically how I came up with the Princess Program, which stands for P for Pride, R for Respect. I for I matter, N for never give up, C for character, E for education, S for self esteem, and S for self awareness. Thank you. <laughs> I, and very very powerful. There's there's a lot of uh, uh, women leaders. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm a closet feminist. Um, and actually, I'm not a closet feminist. I'm out of the closet feminist. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful when you say closet. <laughs> Um, that uh, actually took a lot of women's studies uh, classes in college. I thought that's what all the cute women would be, and uh, they converted me to understand that there are smart women in those classes, not just cute women. You need to write a book and give it away. Send it out to everybody. <laughs> um, but one of the things that that uh, that became very important to me was the equality of women, um, not only in the workplace but in the world. Um, and that if you really look at what makes a great leader, um, the characteristics that make a great leader, if you, if you do not talk gender, in terms of gender, mm -hmm. the things that make a great leader um, are very often associated with the uh, traits that we associate with, with women, character traits. So um, if, if we could have uh, men adopt a, a lot more uh, of the, the uh, 
uh, character traits that, that may generally come in uh, what people would generally associate um, in the, the female gender, um, that, that the world would be a better place or better said if women could just be, uh, break through that glass ceiling and working in leadership, we would have the world become a better place in my very humble opinion. Uh, but go ahead, tell, us, tell me a little bit of, uh, about the applied uh, uh, use of the, the Queen's Court and what uh, you envision will, will, as it rolls out uh, 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 across the next three to five years. What is your plan for the Queen's Court? Well, our plan is to um, get the word out there and um, I'm, I'm actually setting up some princess tour that um, my goal is to speak at different schools, like middle schools, high schools, women organization, churches, just to tell them my story and help inspire them. Um, that's why when on my farewell speech, I said, you know, it's not what the crown can bring to you, it's what you can bring to the crown. So um, that's, that's so true because what happened was um, when I was uh, the reigning queen, you know, I was waiting for opportunities to come to me. <laughs> and, you know, because I, I didn't have any experience, like I said, I've never done any pageants before, so I didn't really know what to do. Like, I didn't have any projects in mind. I knew I wanted to do something to make a difference, but I just could not put it together in my mind. Now, there is one exception to that. I actually came to you as part of that. It was one of the things that came to you as a result. I called you up and said, please, I need somebody to, uh, to be a, a promotional model for <laughs> some, of, uh, yeah, some of our okay. work. And, uh, and you did. And I I've, did. I've always appreciated that. So um, and that's one of the reasons you're on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. And I did. Uh -huh. And that's on YouTube, actually. It is on YouTube. If you want to check it out under... Uh, uh, Oh my goodness, here pro, we pro nails. Yeah, Pro Nails and Spa by, yeah. um, by Tina. By Tina. Correct. Correct. Yeah, and, and that's true, that's true. But you know, it, it's interesting because I sat there and waited for somebody to say, you know, here's what I want you to do, you know, but then I knew something, I, I wanted to do something because with my experience, you know, like I said, growing up in, in the Philippines, in our culture, um, growing up, if you're dark skinned, you're not considered pretty. So. To me, um, I had some insecurities growing up that way, but I overcame my insecurity by applying the Princess Program. So basically, um, I, I did not develop the program to be men hater or whatever. You know, it's it's not all about that. It's it's about empowering women that we could do better. You know, you have to take pride of what you have and you, what you've accomplished, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And you have to follow your heart, and um, you know because a lot of women, a lot of girls. I have a daughter, and I don't want her to go through life thinking, you know, oh, she'll just settle for less. Mm -hmm. And I don't want her to do that. You know, I want her to, you know, to find what's in her, what's what's unique in her that could help her be empowered and make a difference. You know, and and not only with herself. But like with others, you know, how, how can she influence others by, you know, by inspiring them? And, and that's why, you know, I say, you know, again, uh, respect is very important to me. You have to have self-respect and, and you have to know that you matter. Everybody matters. And, and, and I think people forget that, you know, and, and people treat themselves and, and, you know, people get treated that way because they just, like I said, settle for less. And, and, and I don't want women, especially women, to think that. I don't want men or women to think that way because, because everybody ma matters and, and, um, and, and that will eventually lead to their self-esteem, you know, developing their self-esteem. And, and you have to be actually aware of what is going on with you, within you. That's why I put self-awareness as part of my acronym because sometimes people people are just not aware of what they're doing. You have to be very sharp, you, know, you have to keep your mind sharp, and um, it's just a lot of, um, based on my experience, you know, I mean, like, I know this is probably something that um, a lot of people are gonna frown upon, but, you know, I don't drink anymore. I used to drink, I mean, not that I was a drunk, but <laughs> this is not one of those things, but it's just something that I chose not to do anymore, because I, I feel that anything that you, any substance or whatever that impairs your mind, you know, you just you just can't control yourself. And I've been in those situations where I, I've been goofy or whatever, and I, I, that's not me. I've been somebody that I'm not. 
and I don't want that and I want to promote that and, um, and, and help inspire them, tell them my story. And that's my goal is, is to really just, just captivate and motivate women of all ages. Excellent. <laughs> so if somebody wants to get a hold of you, uh, what's a website and uh, contact information for them? Uh, they can they can email me. My email address is uh, C as in cat, A, F as in Frank, E, N as in Nancy, I R at yahoo.com. And they can also contact me at 623-313-8039. And they can also go to my Facebook page, which is currently Mrs. Philippines, Arizona, 2011. So, um, and just, they can just um, put my name in there, Selena, C-E-L-I-N-A, and last name is A, F as in Frank, E, N as in Nancy, I-R, um, and just get the information there and, and email me, and I can, I can send out a brochure if they want and, and learn a little bit more about my program. My website is still currently being developed right now. It's so brand new. Uh, that's why I was kind of, oh, you know, I don't know if I want to go on your show yet because it's really not... <laughs> totally put together but I'm just so excited to actually just get it launched you know uh, we're very excited about the program Let's see where it takes us okay excellent uh, the other thing that uh, we'll talk about after the break is uh, how somebody who is either getting ready for a pageant or just would like to be mentored uh, uh, professionally and, and uh, gain that self-awareness and become whatever they want to become, whether it's to create a business, whether it's to uh, participate in, uh, potentially uh, be crowned in a pageant, uh, coronated, is that the proper term, is coronated? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so um, crowned, you it, say crowned. It, it crowned, there yeah. we go. So, um, uh, whatever your dreams might be, definitely uh, I contact Selena and uh, her nonprofit. Are there any fees for anybody to be mentored? Uh, no, it's all free right now. It's it's all so we have to do uh, some fundraising event, get, get some sponsorships. So anybody out there who are willing to sponsor or uh, help us out uh, for donation, uh, just let me know. Okay, that sounds good. And after the break, we're going to actually talk about some of these upcoming events. Uh, and we're also going, we have uh, Shelly with us, who is actually one of the participants uh, of the uh, Queen's Court uh, program. And uh, we're going to talk about some of the results that she's been able to get so far uh, in that program. And we look forward to tuning uh, back in after the break. <laughs> 